Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the video. As you've probably seen from the site, the title, um, this video is called I Sold Cricket Pants on Christmas Day. Now, I shared on the Tat Chat Facebook group, um, link for that's below if you're not a member already, come over there and say hi. Um, yeah, on Christmas Day, I sold, of all the stuff in our inventory, three pairs of cricket pants. And I just thought at the time that is a bizarre thing to sell on Christmas Day. There was somebody somewhere in the UK on Christmas Day buying cricket pants. So I shared that on, on the Facebook group. And I asked other people to share what they sold on Christmas Day. And I said on that thread, if I get enough um, like pictures and stuff of what people sold, I'd try and make a video of it. And yeah, I got a load of responses from that. So I thought I'd make the video that I promised. So I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you those cricket pants first and then share with you all the other stuff that, that members of the Tat Chat group shared that they sold on Christmas day. A lot of people ask, um, do people buy stuff on Christmas day, Boxing Day, etc.? For us this year, it was really quite busy. We sold a lot of stuff, a lot of weird stuff, particularly the cricket pants. And yeah, like I say, Boxing Day was good. Things then tailed off a bit after that. We weren't working. We took the time off between Christmas and New Year anyway. So sales started to dwindle after that. But Christmas Day and Boxing Day can be really good. Think about it. People are off work. Um, not everybody is busy with family. And things do keep selling. And it's quite bizarre the stuff people are buying on Christmas Day. So what I thought I would do is share all of the images that people shared with me on Facebook of the stuff that they sold on Christmas Day. So hopefully this is going to work. I've got a load of windows open. So first of all, let's see if I can find the stuff that the, the uh, item that I shared. Um, so there you go. These are the cricket pants, or as they call them on the box there, cricket support briefs with pouch, as in the pouch that you put the cricket box in to cover up your um, queen's jewels, queen's jewels, <laughs> your crown jewels. Um, yeah, so these, I sold these at 9 99 uh, with 2 99 shipping. They were part of that big sports haul. Um, I've still got a load left. Oh, Monty's just come in. Hi there. Come on in. Um, yeah, and it just, it tickled me that somebody, that's what somebody was busy doing on Christmas Day. As you can see, the date there, 25th December just crazy so let me um i'll have to come out and go back in this probably isn't the best way to do this but i'll have to keep coming out and going back in right so and then as i say lots of people shared with me their christmas day sales so let's find the first one that came in um hold up yeah this was shared by emma um, a really good sale, actually. RNLI, um, it's a model lifeboat for £110. But apparently the sale was cancelled um, after the fact. So I'm not sure if this one counts. I mean, it did sell on Christmas Day, but then the sale was cancelled, which is a shame because that was a cracking sale. So that's that one. So RNLI 7 class remote control lifeboat. Worth bearing in mind that they're worth good money. Look at that, 110 pounds. So that was Emma's Christmas Day sale. Yeah, I'm sorry for going in and out like this. I'm, I'm not sure how else to do it. Um, okay. And then there's this one. This was shared by Michelle. I think it was Michelle. Sorry, I've got these written down. Yeah, Michelle Izzard says uh, she sold a very worn Le Creuset pan. It just, uh, it just tickles me that somebody somewhere on Christmas Day was thinking about buying a secondhand, pretty worn out Le Creuset pan. So there you go. A sale's a sale. So that's that one. I do like that one. Just so random. Um, oh, this is going to get annoying going in and out like this. Uh, next one, this was Ads. Ads shared this one. I can't remember what he said. He may have said this was his only Christmas Day sale. I can't remember now. 
uh, which was a stunning Millbrook pottery sunflower uh, glazed decorative bowl. Good price, though, adds eighteen ninety nine. There you go. It just shows that eBay just doesn't stop. And on Christmas Day, as you'll see as we go through this selection of stuff, it's everything you can imagine is still selling on Christmas Day. It just does not stop. So that was ads is sale. Um, next, oh, this was shared by uh, Derek Payne. His Christmas Day sale was hold on, yeah, uh, vintage ordnance survey map of Hadrian's Wall. Just about as random as you can get. I remember a year or two back, I had a massive heap of maps um and sold them off there's not a lot of i mean as you can see here there's not great money in maps generally uh the older the better from what i've figured out but yeah i had i picked up ages ago a box with i don't know 50 odd os maps in it uh, and sold them all off but yeah that was uh derek payne's christmas day sale of an Hadrian's wall map. Uh, next one was shared by John Fitzgerald. If I can find it, hold on. His cell uh, was a vinyl 12 inch single uh, by Underworld. I remember this so well. This came out sort of mid 90s, wasn't it? About 94, 95. This is the Lager, Lager, Lager track. Um, I'm sure most of you will remember that. So, yeah, like I said before, just anything. It's so varied. It's just like any other day, really, on eBay. <laughs> People are still buying anything you can imagine. So that was uh, John Sale, John Fitzgerald. So an Underworld Born Slippy on 12-inch vinyl single. Um there must have been a better way of doing this. This is such a palaver coming in and out. Um, this next one. Hold on. This was shared by Sandra. It's a little frozen doll. I think these little snowman dolls, it's not Olaf. It's actually a little frozen doll that was in the spin-off movie. I can't remember what they called them, the little things. And she called it a chatterbox toy, so I'm assuming it talks. I don't know. So, yeah, that was uh, Sandra's Christmas Day eBay sale. Uh, this next one was shared by Gary. Uh, if I can find it. Gary Booten. He reckons that um, somebody had had enough by this point on Christmas Day and they needed a massager. So... Yeah, this was his Christmas Day sale. Pro Shatsu Massager Plus. Uh, sold at eighteen ninety nine with free shipping. I had one of these a while back. I was having trouble shifting mine. Um, can't remember what I sold mine for in the end. A bit less than this, I think. So, yeah. Pro Shatsu Massager Plus sold on Christmas Day 2017. So if you are ever wondering, do people still buy on Christmas Day? Hell yeah. Anything and everything you can imagine is still selling on Christmas Day. Uh, this next one was shared by uh, Mir Cameron Alley, which was a Children's Science Museum security safe for $12.99 with shipping. Clearly got some valuables for Christmas. Um, come out of there. This next one was shared by Gerwin Morgan. Oh, hang on. No, it didn't press the right button there. <laughs> All right, there with. Uh, yeah, this one. Gerwin sold Glade Automatic Spray Soft Cotton Stone Effect. 
Air fresheners sold Christmas Day 2017. Not much more to say about that. Uh, this next one was shared by um, Gavin. Uh, I think it was Gavin Maddock. He thinks that the um, purchaser of this had some shoes for Christmas, which didn't fit. Hence, if I can find it. Gavin sold Shoal Gel Active insoles on Christmas Day. As you can see, he circled it there. 2017. I'm surprised how expensive they are. Like 13 49 for insoles. Happy days. And next up was Callum. Let me find it. Callum's Christmas sale was, I don't even really know what this is, I'll be honest. NSD Powerball Signature Series Neon Light UP Hand Gyroscope Digital Display. What the hell is that? <laughs> so it's a neon light display, digital display gyroscope. I don't know what that is. Does it hang around you? I mean, it's got a little, like a little lanyard, so it hangs, what, around your wrist? You... I have no idea what that is. Who cares? It's sold. It's sold for seventeen fifty again on Christmas Day 2017. So thanks, Callum, for that one. Um, this next one was shared by Steve Burgess. This was his Christmas Day sale. Um, and he messaged that he thinks whoever bought this didn't get what they actually wanted for Christmas. So they just went online and bought what they actually wanted, which was this Zolo Liberty Total Wireless Earphones. And quite an amazing price, like $89.99. I've never even heard of Zolo. So yeah, epic sale. And I think this next one was the last one. Oh, yeah, this la I, I put this one last because this is actually Christmassy. <laughs> About the only thing that is in this lineup of strange things that sold on Christmas Day 2017. Uh, this was shared by Richard. Hold on. Yeah, Richard Hunt. Get rid of those icons. Uh, it says, sold Christmas Day, getting shipped today, might be with them by New Year's Eve. It's one of those little Lego poly bags. It might even be in a box. I'm not sure if that's a poly bag one. Um, and then David Atkins uh, replied down there. You can see, I sell loads of Christmas stuff and always do loads on Christmas Day. One woman spent £70 this year on Christmas Day on stuff she will store for a year, question mark. Guess so. So there you go. That was... Pretty much the only actually Christmassy sale that people shared that was sold on Christmas Day. So there you go. I, I thought I'd make this video. I did say I would if I if enough people shared what they sold on Christmas Day. So thanks to everybody for sharing your sales on Facebook page. Uh, the link will be below to the Tat Chat Facebook group if you're not already a member. It's basically a group um, all about reselling. Um, where you can go and ask questions, socialize, and just generally chat. Um, you can post stuff that's not non-reselling related if you if you want to. Uh, it's a pretty relaxed place. So yeah, check out the Facebook group. Link will be below. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks again for everybody who submitted their Christmas sales. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye for now.